Hi, we're here today with Paul and he wanted to tell us his story about uh, poor tea and how it's uh, changed his life. Paul? Well, I'm happy to be here. We're here at Larry and Young Sue's uh, tea house. Can you show the stuff from the background here, Larry? And uh, for me, uh, I was went on vacation last year in January in, we went to Costa Rica. We got there, went out to dinner, and we walked over uh, this overpass over the road. Coming back in the dark, there was no street lights there. Um, there was a car coming, we had to get out of the path. And I stepped in a gutter, only the gutters were 15 inches deep. And I put my arm up to break my fall and ended up shearing um, the front lobe of my humerus. So it wasn't a humorous situation, but I ended up going to the hospital for a couple of days. And it was a wake up call for me because I was eating a lot of um, foods that make you happy but aren't necessarily good for you. I've roasted coffee for 20 years and I make great coffee, but coffee raises your blood sugar. And one of the things I got from my results of the test, my blood sugar was 121, pre-diabetic. My cholesterol numbers were 285, and maybe from drinking too much coffee, I had an elevated PSA count. It was almost at nine. And so uh, we were on vacation for a week down there. I had my arm taped to my body. They'd give me Oxycontin, which I didn't want to take. But we came back home, went to Kaiser, did the ran the blood tests again, the numbers. They came up with the same numbers. and. Um, they wanted to put me on statin drugs. They wanted to uh, give me a drug for my uh, PSA count. They also wanted to see me and make sure I didn't have cancer. And I said, you know what? I know how to eat healthily. And I want to go in for another blood test 30 days from now, and we'll see what the numbers are. Well, two days later, Saturday, I met Larry and his wife at the uh, farmer's market at Wells Fargo Center. And I tasted this tea. I heard the testimonials from Larry about how good the Pu'er tea is for you. And I tasted it. I'm a coffee connoisseur. I've got, I've roasted coffee for 20 years. I've got coffees from all over the world. Um, and I started roasting coffee because I could never find a good cup anywhere. And I learned how to roast it. Well, I had these teas, and the teas amazed me. Amazed me. If you're switching from coffee to tea, these teas, the Pu'er teas, have the the oil, the body, the elements that will satisfy without the caffeine that coffee gives you. So, I bought some tea from Larry. Went home, started drinking it. I heard about the health benefits, but mostly it tasted good. I, I took uh, a lot of the starches and sugars out of my diet, ate a lot more greens, and I was planning on uh, on a blood test. And the first, going back 30 days later and seeing where, where I was at, well, I lost 18 pounds in that first month. You you, you basically reduced, uh, you replaced the coffee with tea, right? I replaced coffee with tea. I didn't have coffee for four months. And when, how much uh, you started drinking the tea, how much did you well, tea? Well, I make? liked it as well as the coffee, and I was drinking at least two liters a day. I'd make you know, my 1.1 liter French press, I was using that, and I'd, I'd make uh, at least two presses of that a day. It's a fair amount of tea. So you're talking, we, I think we calculated it's around 12, maybe 6 ounce cups, what most people would say. Yeah, but I never think of it in terms of 6 ounce cups. I drink that much coffee a day also before that. Okay, so you, so drank, you were drinking a lot of tea. I was drinking a lot of tea. It's very satisfying tea. It's easy to drink, and you don't get a coffee buzz. With, with coffee, you can, you know, jack yourself. It's raising your blood sugar. You have a pastry that makes you, you know, also kind of zoom and... You go off to work and you've got this real bright period for about an hour and a half and then you start to fade and then eat more pastry or more sugar or whatever and try to keep your blood sugar up. And I found with the uh, Pu'er tea, they stabilized my blood sugar. I could work long periods of time. I have a carpet cleaning business these days and I do a lot of big commercial jobs. And some of the jobs are 10, 12, 14 hours. And I can work on a, on a Pu'er tea and nothing else for 10 hours, not feel tired, not feel tired at the end, just have steady output all through that time. I could never do that with coffee. And can you tell me about um, one month later, what okay. um, when your, your numbers were? 
I, uh, I, I think I mentioned that, Larry, I met you two days after I got my blood tests and I bought some tea at that time. And 28 days later than that, 30 days from my last blood test, I went in for another one. I had dropped 18 pounds. My uh, blood sugar went from 121 to 87. My cholesterol numbers went from 285 to 220. And my PSA count went from 8.9 to 1.3. And for people that don't know, the PSA count is basically... PSA count is, uh, is an indicator that they might, something might be going on with your prostate. They generally, you've got a PSA count over six, they're starting to look for prostate cancer. Okay, and, so uh, you were at 8.9, which is significantly yeah, higher Yeah, significantly that. high. That's not, that's not a good number to have. And, uh, you know, I felt much better. I looked different. That's a, that's a tremendous drop from 8.9 down to 1.3 in one month. Yeah, it was. I mean, honestly, when I told the doctors, they wanted to know what I'd done because I didn't take any of their drugs, zero. I didn't take any of them. Um, and I went in there and I looked like a different person. I felt like a different person. And my numbers indicated that I was, nobody has those kind of numbers in a month's time. Or very few people do. And. The only thing that I can attribute it to is the tea and reduction of eating starches and, and a lot more, you know, greens. You, you, you told me that you, t you felt 10 to 15 years younger. I was, can you, can you t <laughs> well, elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, I'd like to uh, make my face, let me, can, let me, can I push my cheeks up here a little bit? I don't know uh, who is going to see this, but uh, let me tell you this, if it, if it um, you know, I felt completely different. I mean, I, I was at one time a, a pretty competitive athlete on bicycle, a uh, handball player one time, and I feel like I can do that stuff again. And I'll be 70 this year in November. Um, you know, I feel good. I mean, I get up in the morning, I feel good. I have my tea and uh, breakfast and go off to work, you know. And uh, it's, it's made a significant difference for me. And my friends that I've recommended, they try this tea, I look at them in the same boat that I was in before, flogging themselves with coffee, eating junk food, and that kind of stuff. Um, the ones that have taken me up on it have seen the same kind of things happen. You said you, your daughter's lost, lost weight off. My too. daughter's lost 16 pounds. She looks a lot better and she just loves it cooler tea. I, I was amazed, Paul, when every, every time I saw you, and I was talking to my son when I'd see you at the market, and every time I saw you, you seemed like you just slimmed down, you just looked better. I, it was, uh, I can testify about the weight loss thing, because yeah, I, I saw you when you came back, and every time I, I was kind of almost shocked at how much you, you know, you slimmed down. Yeah, well, pretty much all my friends said, Paul, you look 10 years younger. And I said, well, that's good, you know. I mean, I wish it was true, but. <laughs> <laughs> but you know you can't get everything. Okay, so um, so you said you had sustained energy and um, and now you don't have to. Before you 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 basically from drinking the poor tea, um, uh, you don't have to take all these the what you said there was four different kinds of drugs that. Um, well, I didn't take them. I mean, I I never even started on them. They, but they wanted me to take all this stuff. I got some of them and I decided I'm not going to take this stuff. I'm just going to see what happens. And uh, with a puller, let's find out what the tea does. I want to isolate it because I've always liked um, testing stuff and various kinds of things and you find out. And I mean, I, I, uh, I don't want to say that I don't trust my doctors, but their experience is limited to what they've learned in school. They can verify that they're gonna get this kind of results with this kind of process, but they don't vary. And so they're not open to anything different. And so I said, I know what exercise will do for you, and I know what eating healthily will do for you. And to uh, put the tea in that leveled out my blood sugar was a huge thing. I, I thought it was kind of nice to know too, because you said, uh, you, you've always had, like, for a long time, had like a regular heartbeat, but even though you're an athlete and, and you, it doesn't seem like it had any adverse effect on well, you, but you can drink a lot of the tea there, there, and not, there's, not... There's a corollary to that too, Larry. Um, I went in, I'm still, I've been in atrial fib for 20 years, atrial fibrillation. 
and uh, a lot of uh, caffeine robs magnesium. Your, your, your heart runs on magnesium. What magnesium regulates your, your, your pulse. And caffeine robs it from your system. It also robs it from your bones as well. But uh, as relative to the heart, there's a lot of, um, of uh, aerobic exercise that will, a lot of athletes, let me put it this way, that do heavy aerobic exercise are in atrial fib today. An uh, article just came out in Bella News about atrial fib. Um, I take uh, magnesium supplements now, and that's helped tremendously. But the tea, with very low caffeine, and you can use the thing with the tea, you can rebrew it. I, I usually brew it five or six times. Use the same tea leaves, a little longer steep time. Taste is the same. The caffeine level halves just about every time it goes down. A 12 ounce cup of Pu'er tea, in reading and doing the kind of background study, has got about 40 milligrams of caffeine. An eight ounce cup of Starbucks coffee has got 120 milligrams of caffeine. And so when you uh, rebrew your second time, you're using your, your, your press and, or, or your teapot and making, using the same tea leaves and rebrewing it, you're getting about 20 milligrams of caffeine and next time around 10. Plus it's, with the poor tea, you get the theanine and the GABA from the uh, microbial aging, so that's helping you too. Yes, it really is. I mean, it's, it's, uh, there's no loss in taste, whatever, but to wean myself off caffeine, also, and taking magnesium supplements, I went in to see my cardiologist, and he said, hey Paul, for a guy in atrial fib, your heartbeat is a lot more normal. I mean, it's not wildly out of, out of thing. I don't have racing pulse. My resting pulse is around 46 to 50. Now, it used to be 34 um, when I was younger in atrial fib, 33, 34. And, and as a little side note, you, uh, you told me that you, um used to do like 200 mile bike tours. Well, I've done the Davis Double Century, the 200 mile bike ride. It starts in Davis, um, it goes uh, around the Lake Berryessa, and then back to Davis. It's an endurance ride. I've done that 20 times. Uh, I've done it twice on a track racing bike with no handbrakes and a fixed gear. You can't change the gear, fairly high gears. And you've also had some of you, you you're a high-end bicycle Manufacturer, you, you said you've had your, your bicycles in Bicycle Magazine? Yeah, my bikes have been in Bicycling Magazine. I was a mechanic for the U.S. National Team at the World Championships in 1986. I've got a lot of triathletes that won national championships on bikes I designed and built. Okay, to keep it short and sweet, this video here, is anything else you'd want to say? Or I, I'd say if you haven't tried Pu'er tea, it's worth trying. It tastes good, but the health benefits um, are tremendous and I, I everybody I know my, my family members and stuff I see them taking all these drugs and vitamins and all these supplements and that kind of stuff but they're not eating healthily and I think the Pu'er tea is a major component of, of eating healthily and uh, you know drinking it tastes good it's good for you and it certainly made a huge difference for me and I think your your testimony is interesting too because you're a coffee connoisseur, so you've got the you know you know the cup comparisons. Yeah. I, I, you know, but I don't drink as much coffee anymore, and um, and all my coffee drinking friends that I started roasting coffee beans for, and I got them started roasting coffee and that kind of stuff. I'm getting them to try pu'er tea because I think they need it. You know, I didn't realize that um, that the quite the negative effects of caffeine on your system over long periods of time in abuse. And also the rise in blood sugar and the, the need to sustain it, 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 I can't say that coffee will make you diabetic, but it will certainly help put you in a pre-diabetic condition. And if you feed this thing to try to keep your energy levels up from being highly caffeinated with a lot of sugar, um, which I did for years, it's not good for you. And uh, to move away from that to having something that, that gives you uh, a little bit of boost but much more healthier for you and um, deals with some of the uh, residual issues of, of fat, you know, 
uh, and, uh, and the sugars in the diet. Um, there's nothing better that I, that I had to drink yet than Pu'er tea. Okay, great. Um, your, your testimonial kind of dovetails kind of nicely with, I was going to relate uh, my recent experience. I, you know, I've been telling people about the poor chia and uh, how I, uh, I'm going to come out with a, a little story that I had with my, with a, with a road trip. And I think it's a really interesting kind of dovetails pretty nicely. We're talking about sustained energy levels and um, overall health. So um, thanks a lot, Paul, and I really appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, thank you, Larry.